up everyone, you're here for another one. In this video, we're gonna camp on my friend's private property in Pennsylvania, as well as show you the new Jackery Explorer 300. We had a blast at my buddy Chris's house in Illinois. <laughs> okay, yes. now we gotta calm down. Right. We do? <laughs> Drove through Indiana, Ohio, all that good stuff. You got a severe thunderstorm warning coming through Indiana. Here we are. All right, I think we can handle it. Wow, this is actually pretty intense. And the winds, the winds are crazy. We're driving through another big city, Columbus, Ohio, I think. Cincinnati, Cleveland, Ohio. We showed you Overland Expo East in Virginia, as well as the Mid-Atlantic Overland Festival. The gate is hung. Oh, oh, it breaks the stake! Chris did an awesome job spotting at that event, and after that, I got in touch with him, and he invited me out here to camp on this awesome private property in the woods. So that's why you'll see all these logs right here. This is actually a logging uh, area. This is the big old cat, big old dozer that gets her done. My buddy Chris should be coming up any moment in his sweet V8 WJ Jeep. So we'll keep uh, an ear out for him, take you guys up the hill. It's a really gnarly, four by four trail up here. So before he gets here, let's open up this new Jackery Explorer 300. Four years ago, I tested the Jackery 240, which was the older version of this power station. Since then, I've tested the Jackery Explorer 1000, and Jackery power stations and solar panels have always worked great for me, so I'm excited to get this 300 out of the box. Orange knife for an orange power station. I like the 300 because it's small. It's just a little bit extra for those emergency power situations. And also, a little another way to capture free solar energy from the sun. Look at the little guy. <laughs> so they give you the cigarette lighter. You can charge it off your car while you're driving. Obviously, you can charge off the AC plug. You can also charge off the of solar panels. Look at that. It fits right there in the middle on the uh, center console. That's as easy as plugging that thing in there. And then coming over here, plugging in the cigarette lighter. And now we'll be charging right here. We'll have extra USBs. Uh, if I do need to charge any AC type stuff while I'm driving, you can charge it off of this and keep your truck topped up. And that's our friend Chris. Mobbing on up. All right, let's mob. Check it out. So we've got this cord running back to our Jackery. No, I guess I should take the sticker off so you guys can see. <laughs> We're pulling in 78 watts. That's legit. So this thing will fully charge while we're driving. So much fun. Wheeling in Pennsylvania is a lot different. There's a lot of trees. As you guys saw in my recent Colorado video, Gotta look out for those. It's kind of intense wheeling this camper. Oh, look at this jungle. It's just such a jungle out here. Like seriously, it's so crazy how green everything is on the East Coast and just how much of a jungle it all is. Look at this. We're just pushing through jungle. <laughs> it's uh, pretty overgrown, guys. <laughs> Just pushing stuff out of the way. We're at the top of the hill here. Chris has cleared out a bunch of this camp, so the sun's just coming out. It's beautiful, and uh, we'll set up camp up here. Got this top popped.
Alrighty, well, got a pretty dang good charge. We're at about 56%, so that's good. Which is good, because we gotta do some video editing today, and we don't have a whole lot of power in the truck, so we're gonna plug our computer into the Jackery here. And as you can see, we are drawing some wattage, about 39 watts. Let's see what else we can plug in and how high we can draw. We'll plug our little electric oven in too. That's AC. It doesn't draw a ton of power, but it is gonna make my macaroni and che. We'll also plug in my iPhone. And what else will we plug in here? How about our hotspot? Because we love our HomeFi hotspot solution. So there we go. Wow, look at that. We're drawing over a hundred watts and charging and powering all these things. No problema. Pretty neat. We could even have something plugged in over here to the cigarette lighter and be running that also. And one more USB-C 60 watt. I don't have a USB-C right now. And then we could have a solar panel going in here and be charging off solar as well. All right, well, we're heating our lunch up and we can work on the computer at the same time. Oh yeah, time for a wardrobe change too. That shirt was a little old. <laughs> All right, our Jackery heated up our dinner. Time to go eat it. You know, the East Coast really is beautiful. Fall out here, incredible. I'm looking at yellow and pink in the leaves on two different trees. What's up, Coda Beans? There are so many days on the road that I need extra power and when I haven't had a power station with me, I'm kicking myself. This is one of those days where I'm stoked to have it with me because check it out. I'm only at 40% you guys. That's not cool. Right? 40%. That's no good, huh codes? And the reason is because we're hiding in these trees here. So yeah, really nice to be able to have extra power and when we leave here we'll run the truck we'll be charging our whole power system up uh, so that's no worries we got a few hours of driving to do we should get a full charge on our main battery bank but also we'll go plug the jackery in up front all right well it's time to head out so let's get on our way holy what you guys gotta see this stink bugs are living up here in my awning Oh my gosh. These stink bugs are so nasty. Look at this. They're just literally like this. I've been here a couple days and they've just infiltrated completely. Look at them all. You guys are disgusting. Get out of here. Oh, that's terrible. Get all my Lynx levelers, which of course have. What do you think is inside my Lynx levelers, guys? Comment below. Bugs. Looks like there's been some logging activity since I've been gone. Remember I camped right here where that red trailer is now set up. <laughs> I'm glad that I didn't come camp here on a day where they were doing that. But yeah, it looks like the dozers all headed out ripping up the woods. Cool. Thank you guys for watching this one. I sure do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment. Let me know what you think. If you did like it, hit the like button. That's what that's for. Check the link below to see the Jackery Explorer 300. If you purchase through that link, help support the channel. 
help this world go around, man. We'll see you on the next one. The only question is, are you down to mom?